This video will be a lot helpful for anyone who's out there who's feeling the impact of being a commodity. Content, especially with AI coming out, content is becoming commoditized. And if you want to be rich, you cannot be a commodity. You cannot sell Toyotas and expect to be a billionaire unless you have a fulfillment that can allow you to sell 100,000 Toyotas every year. But just like we know, we want to get rich without having to exert a lot of efforts. So what is the idea that can allow you and the plan that, and the offer that can allow you to to go from maybe knowing how to edit really well, having insights into YouTube, having insights around short form content that blow up on TikTok or shorts, and take that insight and turn it into a seven figure business in the next 90 days. My goal in today's video is to show you how I would personally go about taking a short form content agency, a YouTube content agency from zero to a hundred grand a month in 90 days. In order for us to do that, we need to go and learn about this new way of selling a build and release infrastructure that is specific to content. So let's get into the screen and then I'll show you guys how to implement it and by the way before this video gets started november 21st i'm actually going to be breaking down every single offer and a lot more offers that have been working for a lot of our clients uh in the natural born leader community my goal is to give you as much value as you guys are being sold for ten thousand dollars in all these programs these high ticket programs i actually want to bring it back down to 49 dollars a week so if you guys would like access to offers like you know how can you go up ahead and go into the local niche and actually scale it just sign up in the natural born leader community community is $49 and then join me November 21st where I break down the best offers and the best client acquisition infrastructure that are killing it when selling these build and release offers. All right, now, before I break down the content uh, build, and release, build and release infrastructure that you guys will be selling, I wanna explain as to why it is important. And the way that I'm gonna explain it is by showing you guys the top people that you guys look up to. So let's find um, some of the some of the sharks that we all look up to and learn from and i want to show you guys the impact of s content okay so if you guys were to look at hormozy he before he built a brand online he was just like everybody else he was just a great marketer a great gym scaler right he just scaled the gyms but that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't like special but as soon as he built an audience he became literally a god of online marketers, right? Everybody follows him, everybody loves him, right? But nothing changed, meaning he didn't acquire more skills. The only thing that he added, the only lever he pulled was becoming great at building an audience, okay? If we look at Iman, Iman did not become a million times smarter, maybe he did, but the things that's making him have make let's say go from making less than 10 mil a year to multiple eight figures a year it's just the audience right if we look at the rock he went from you know being a great actor a great wrestler making tens of millions a year to being a billionaire in just two years and the only thing that changed is his audience and a leveraged product conor mcgregor makes 25 mil in all his old ufc career and in just three years builds a brand that is worth over 600 million and makes a hundred uh, nine figures in a single year in 2021 and gets paid 30 million for one fight so the whole reason why content is super important even though i'm saying that content is a commodity i want you guys to understand that it's not it's a commodity because there is more supply of people delivering editing scales but it is not a commodity in the sense of it's not important okay and this is the same thing that took me from being an agency owner, an appointment setting agency owner who makes 30K a month in the basement to being able to make uh, 30K by 9 a.m. Um, on a regular basis, right? It allowed me to scale the business to 500K a month. Nothing changed besides me building an audience. So now let's go back to how do you guys start making a lot of money with the same offer? So uh, the first things first, uh, I want to talk to you guys about the issue with uh, selling content as done for you. The biggest bottleneck with selling content as done for you is the fact that if you want to go from 10K a month with your two, three, five clients as a content agency or short form content agency, you will need to hire more editors, more thumbnail designers, more, more, more people, right? Meaning the more money you make, the more money you spend. The more money you make, the more money you spend, meaning it scales linearly. Those businesses are not the greatest businesses to run, okay? So I highly suggest you guys get away from that treadmill because it's a rat race. 
The more money you make, the more money you spend. The more money you make, the more money you spend, which is why agency models are not necessarily the best businesses to scale to like nine figures, a billion dollars, right? And the second issue is the fact that what you covered, it's there's more supply than there is demand. Therefore, all the editors, all the thumbnail designers, all the YouTube experts are fighting over a tiny percentage of people who are actually comfortable in creating content, okay? So therefore, you guys lose the pricing power of being specialized. So that's the issue. So please don't, 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 don't make the same mistakes, okay? Now, how would I go about building and selling uh, a content infrastructure? First things first, please pick which funnel you want to focus on, funnel as well as channel. I highly suggest you guys be divided into two funnels. There's going to be the YouTube funnel, which, to be honest, can be called a long-form content, long form content funnel. And then the social funnel is going to be short-form, short-form content funnel. Be specialized in either long form or short form. Do not try to do both. If you do both, it adds complexity and fulfillment. Okay? And then the next thing you want to decide is who are you going to bridge the gap for? Do you want to go after advertising agencies? Do you want to go after coaches? Do you want to go after SaaS founders? Do you want to go after uh, people who do podcasts? Please decide who you want to go after. Okay? Do you want to go after influencers? When you've picked who you want to go after, you want to show them the gap that you're going to bridge with your infrastructure. You're going to say, hey, I'm going to take you from 30K a month or maybe 100K a month to a million dollars a month by building you a long-form content infrastructure, right? Long-form content is going to be the first mechanism. And the second mechanism that's going to convert that attention into money is going to be conversion mechanisms, right? Or if you're a short-form content agency, you can go to someone who does podcasts and you're like, hey, I'm going to blow up your brand by taking all your long form and turning them into short form. And then I'm going to build conversion mechanisms that are going to take that traffic and convert it into money and appointments for you. Right. OK, so when you're doing a build and release infrastructure, what you want to understand is you only need three things to understand for each mechanism that you're implementing in that infrastructure. OK, so I'm going to give you guys an example. If I'm doing long form content as one mechanism, I need to know what type of content, okay, the client needs to create to get the most virality. And then I need to know what are the systems that are going to be needed to make this whole thing work. And who are the people that I'm going to need to place in that business so that they can implement on the system and on the insights, right? That's for long form. When it comes to short form, you do the same thing. What are the best so I call it, actually, I don't call it content here. I like to call it insights. You have insights into the top performing sounds on, on socials. You have the top performing editing style for shorts. You have the top performing, um, I guess, content to talk about, maybe viral topics, right? That's, that's what I call insights. A build and release offer is made of insights, systems, and people. Insights, systems, and talent. Let me repeat that. You need systems, insights, and talent. The insights is like, what will be the process? And then systems is what will be the systems to implement on that process? And who will be the person who implements on those two things? Communicates the insights to your clients and implements the systems in your clients' businesses. Okay? And then uh, conversion mechanism, same thing. You want to figure out, okay, for long-form content, what are the insights, right? Meaning, what is the headline? What is the funnel that we need to build for this client? Um, what are the email sequences when someone opts in? What is the acquisition funnel, right? Is it an opt-in and then someone calls them and then someone sets them on a call? Or is it a vote on the poll on my story and then I engage and then I have a setter on my account who's setting them? So that's what I mean by insights. Essentially insights, you need to have insights into the workflow. And then the next thing you need is systems. What systems need to be built? I guess you need a landing page. You probably need the Zapier to throw all those uh, leads that are coming in into a Discord or a Slack so that the sales team and the appointment setting team can reach out. So those are the systems you need. And then for talent-wise, you need to have setters or closers to implement on what? On the strategy and the systems. Okay, so insights can also be called strategy, right? And um, 
when you go out there, you're like, hey guys, I'm gonna build you a long form content funnel and I'm gonna uh, build out a conversion mechanism made of a one funnel, one case study funnel with a setter that reaches out and systems to collect all those leads and put them in your CRM and as well as on your uh, communication platform, okay? And then uh, you sell this for 10, 15K, right? Sell this for as much money as you want because the beautiful thing is when you go from being like, oh, I'll do your thumbnails to being like, hey, I'm going to build a team of editors, long-form editor and a thumbnail designer, and then I'm going to set up the strategy, the content, the thumbnail process, the titles to go with this content. This is going to be the insights and strategy. And I'm also going to build systems to track the performance of each piece of content and the people who edit and publish this thing. And then I'm also going to help you convert this into money. You stop being a commodity. Nobody else, at least not the editor on Fiverr, the editors on Fiverr are not going to be able to, co to compete with you, right? And that's what we want to do. We want to stop competing with people on Fiverr, with people on online jobs at PH, with people on Upwork. Because if you're just selling editing skills, then people will choose the cheapest thing. But if you're selling a sophisticated solution, people would rather pay you top dollar, just like... I live in a penthouse because if I'm going to work this hard, I want to live in the best place. Could I spend less money a year? Yes. Could I save money? Yes. But do I want to save money? No. Why? Because I want the best of the best. So if you guys want to make a lot of money, start selling penthouses, start selling um, studios or one, bed one bedroom apartments. Okay. There is no margins in here, right? If I spend six figures on this, on this penthouse a year, um, the margins may be 40%. If you're selling a one bed apartment, bedroom apartment, you're maybe making like 200 bucks a month in profit, which is like two grand. Well, here they'll make like 40 grand, 50 G's a month in profits. So that's the logic. Sell something that's thorough. Now, the biggest um, issue that a lot of people will face is like, okay, Serge, how do I deliver on a build and release offer? Well, let me show you this. You need to get good at these three things if you want to sell build and release offers. You want to get good at selling. I'm actually, I wrote it down because this was actually the first time that I thought of it this way. But for anyone who's actually looking to sell, um, I'm actually going to write it down. For anyone who's looking to sell build and release offers, the top three skills that will allow you to hit 100K a month is, are the following. Hiring skills. The third one is going to be Training. And then the, no, the second one is going to be training. And then the third one is going to be what? Systems, building, skills. If you can learn to hire fast enough, promote talent acquisition, and you can learn to train the people you're acquiring and training them almost for free at scale, and you can build the systems to put all this together, you will become a millionaire. You will make a million dollars a year, guaranteed while everybody else is teaching you these little commoditized skill sets like appointment setting or editing or closing, this is just one skill out of the whole picture. But when you learn, when you go up a tier in levels of leverage when it comes to skill sets, you learn that hiring, training, and systems are eight-figure, nine-figure skill sets, right? While editing, closing, appointment setting, they're just commoditized skills. Everybody can acquire them, right? And let me show you guys what you guys need to do. Essentially, when you're building a, client, uh, a build and release offer, it doesn't matter whether you're selling to coaches, consultants, sales agencies, it doesn't matter. You need to learn to hire people, train them, and place them in your, in your clients' businesses. So imagine this. If I show you guys our hiring, our VA appointment center management base, this business, we scaled it to, um, 600 grand a month. We got to a point where we would sell 40 businesses every month and we would place talent in those 40 businesses. Each client that, we, that works with us, we would place two setters. That means that we would place almost 100 talent, 100 trained setters every single month. You cannot pull that off if you are not good at hiring, training at scale, and placing people and, and systematizing the whole thing. Now, look at this. This is just the application, right? We have over 
5,000 applications in the last 15 months. We have acquired over 5,000 people who wanted to be trained by us and placed into businesses. And look at how many assessment calls we did. We did over 2.6 thousand assessment calls. This means that these are people that we vetted and we're like, hey, these people are ready to be placed. Okay, guys, so now let me show you guys the potential of having this much, uh, this much talent that is trained and that is ready to be placed into your client's businesses. And this is what you guys will essentially need to create. You guys will need to build a talent acquisition process. You guys will need to build a management system like we have here where you would have people apply, you walk them through assessment, and then you have them graduate and you just place them on, on with your clients, okay? Now, I want to show you guys the potential of it. So I just showed you guys that we were able to attract 5,000 VAs. And this was, I would say, in... 15 months right so we maybe get 200 300 500 applicants a month and then half of them we were actually able to vet them okay and i told you guys that we would place two vas per company that we've trained and for you guys you can essentially think of this like one editor plus thumbnail designer okay or one thumbnail whoever edits the actual image to present the asset okay or whatever you need. But let, imagine that you place two people in your content building with release infrastructure, you place two talent, two people, two um, trained people, right? And you can use VAs, to be honest. If I'm selling, if every time I place two people, I can charge 10 to 15K and above, this is a $12.5 million a year business, or at least... This pool here, just the 2.5K here I just showed you guys, this is worth $12 million. And this is what most people don't understand. This is how you make a lot of money, okay? And the reason why this is more scalable than a traditional done-free agency is because I built this hiring funnel once, this training infrastructure once, and I, and I never need to do it again. I do one thing once, and I keep making money from it time and time and time and time and time again. But for you guys, if you're doing the traditional content route, every time you get a new client, you're excited. They pay you two grand. You're like, okay, cool. And then you go find an editor that you pay 500 bucks, even if it's 500 bucks, guys. What I want you guys to understand is that you have to pay to acquire that client. You have to pay yourself. And you have to pay a creative director. And you have to pay for systems. So out of that 2K a month, you're only making a few hundred bucks profit. What's the point of spending your life only to make 500 bucks profit per client? That's not a business. That's just, that's just uh, I guess, a hobby. And you do it. I guess you enjoy it. Maybe you enjoy editing. Maybe that's cool. But what I want you guys to understand is you guys need leverage. This is leverage. What I just showed you guys here, if I ever go broke, I'm going to go place these trained setters into businesses and I'm going to charge 10K a pop right and the beautiful thing is we or you build it once and you just do the placement the only thing that's a recurring effort is getting on a on a call with a client and be like hey so here's the two uh, experts that we have ready to be placed in your company here are what the systems and here's the strategy we're going to implement this over the next four months four weeks and then it's 15k do you want to work with us or not right this is all you guys need to know this is all you guys need to be good. Be, first, get clear on, are you going to be a short-form content infrastructure seller? And what are the insights on conversion mechanism? And by the way, for conversion mechanism, you guys should know our thesis. If you've never gone through it, then just go and learn this. It's, you can join a natural born leader or you can watch my webinars on YouTube for free. I've broken down how to actually scale businesses with different paid acquisition funnels and organic funnels. So this should not be an issue for you if you follow my page right but get clear on the strategy what are you going to fo focus on how are you going to help your clients convert what is going to be the insights for the content infrastructure systems and talent and what is going to be the conversion mechanism side what is going to be the insight the strategy the systems and talent when it comes to this one part here because a lot of you guys will have a harder time with this you do not need to solve this through done for you okay you just do it through consulting you consult them on the right conversion mechanism, the right strategy, what system should look like, what talent you they need. And if you're not, 
yet working with us, then and you, you kind of like don't have the answers to this, then come work with client acquisition.io. Okay, we'll solve this for you. We'll consult you on every business you work with and we'll build out the whole strategy. We'll even give you the systems because we have, you know, a big systems integrator team. And then we have also the access to talent. Okay. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is how, this is what you guys need. Okay. And um, imagine if you sold 10 people a month. Okay. 10 businesses a month at 10k you get to 100k a month right and then the beautiful thing is you already have the pool of what of you've already built so we'll maybe we help you build the hiring funnel the scorecard for the people you know want to you want to hire the vsl and we help you build this talent base here okay on Airtable, and it will help you build the education platform the course, the community for the VAs. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you guys something real quick. Uh, we have a community here for VAs. We have wins and losses channel, like wins every day. Uh, we have placed VAs. These are all the VAs that we've placed. Look at look at this list, guys. It's a lot of people. And then maybe we help you build such a community. Okay, and then we show you the workflow around how to test, review people's qu uh, quality of work. Right, how to do QA. And then also how we would how we scaled a this infrastructure to like 600k a month uh, by doing these three things. That's literally all we did, right? So, if you ask me, how do I go from being a commoditized agency that does content to someone who's making seven figures a year with the same solution? Like the goal is still to get solve content problems, right? But the way you charge 10k a month, 10k upfront is by solving more problems and becoming more sophisticated okay the talent is done for you systems are done with you the strategy and the insights is do it yourself meaning you pre-build it and then every client who own boards you just send them through the same uh, notion schedule uh, or you can just put it on a whatever you want to do it on a click up project you almost build like a project management system that shows them all the content that they will need to create, all the thumbnails, all the titles, everything. You pre-build it. So every client who comes in, you don't have to do more work, right? But again, the idea here is more leverage. Leverage is how you scale, guys. Do not try to chase those 500 bucks a month thing. And this is how I went from... This is how I scaled, guys. This is how I went from here. Like, I was making 1500 bucks a month per client. Like, I, I don't know how many... Like, that Porsche that you guys see on that screen, I would have never bought it, okay? Because I was literally, like, even before I make any profit, I would have had to sell five new people for me to be able to afford a GT through RS, right? Now, today, I acquire one client, and I could go buy a GT through RS every month. Every client I get. Right, like that's how much profit I have per client because when I serve someone, I solve every single problem that they're gonna face, and then they pay me a lot more money than they've ever paid to anybody else. Okay, and this is how you bridge the gap, guys. This is it. This is it. Okay, you need more leverage in your fulfillment, and this is how you do it. You pre build a lot of the insights, you pre build systems, and then you pre build talent pools. Let's go. And by the way, uh, I hope I don't sound like a guru online who's talking to you about stuff. I'm not talking about, oh, this is how you make your first 10K a month. No, 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 no. Guys, if you guys are trying to make your first 10K a month, this is, this, you're not going to go through the, the struggle of building this out. This is for people who are ready to be sophisticated. People who are actually ready to be professionals. People who are ready to be operators. If what you want is the easy route, then go, go start a short from content agency or go start an AI automation agency. And I promise you, you're always going to struggle to make any money. You may acquire clients, but they're going to churn. So for me, I'm trying to get you guys to become more, more, more efficient and more sophisticated in your fulfillment. So you do things that are so hard to do that you separate yourself from everybody else. We're not going to compete on on easy like we're not gonna we're gonna play the game on our own terms and we're gonna control the, the every variable right and we're gonna let people who aren't smart stay broke and keep chasing that 10 cam on google but for us we're gonna go do hard things build infrastructures and then go sell it back to the marketplace 
for a lot more money um but yeah guys november 21st or maybe i don't know when you guys are seeing this join the natural born leader community if you want access to this and uh yeah i'm going to be sharing it with you guys but i have so much more uh value to come and uh, i'm also going to be giving you guys like how would i go about doing lead gen for this offer how would i go about appointment setting for this offer and how would i go about selling this offer right now that you guys know the the goal of how you sell it or the offer then you need to also know lead flow how you're going to get lead flow how you're going to get appointments flow and how you're going to get deal flow if you guys want access to this you don't need to join our 15k 20k program where we also partner and get rev share on your growth just join natural born leader and um you guys are going to get more value than you guys can can imagine okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know and um yeah bye-bye